Hello students, I welcome you all to my lecture that has been conducted by E. Patsala in home science in human development subject. I, Dr. G. Bharata, belong to Avinash Lingam University for Women Human Development Department. I am a retired professor, but I am very happy to have this lesson to be with you and tell about this lesson on quality on early childhood education program. Traditionally in India, the early childhood care, early childhood years that is from prenatal to 5 years are considered to lay the foundation for inculcation of basic values and social skills in children. Consequently, in the past, much of the early care and education of the child was very informal within the family and largely through grandmothers who cared practices of children and telling stories and traditional infant games handed down from one generation to the next. With the growing urbanization and increase in women participation in the workforce across the country among all socio-economic groups, there has been a change in social structures and practices in the last decades. As a result, given the constant pressures and challenges of day-to-day -day existence in the complex society, the possibilities for the young child caring at home is becoming less of a reality. It was this changing social context over the years which laid the seeds for the introduction of concept of early childhood care and education in the country. Objectives of this lesson are to know the onset of early childhood education, quality in the early childhood education, determining factors in early childhood education. Now let us see what is onset of early childhood education. Since the 1980s, early childhood education has been defined as the education of young children from birth to age 8. Typically, ECA programs contain several age related areas ranging from infancy, preschool, kindergarten and primary grades. Such programmers not only vary by age but by characteristics of the child in each stage, by purpose and by institutional sponsorship. They are offered in a variety of settings under diverse moods and wide practices. Significant short term benefits were evident on children's intelligence quotient that is IQ. Long term outcomes of ECE programs have shown that children from low income families who enrolled benefit at all. As for long term gains, children were more successful in areas of school achievements. Such programs have also been associated with the positive outcomes in cognitive, social and emotional development in children. These facts promoted government and educators to begin investing their respective resources in the development and enhancement of learning opportunities for young children. The beginning of the 20th century witnessed the setting up of the Maria Montessori system in the early 1930s. Pioneers like Tara Bai Mudak and Jiju Bai Badega who started preschool centers and also teacher training institutions along the Montessori lines provided further encouragement to early childhood education. These efforts through sporadic and undertaking by the voluntary organization laid the foundation for the awareness and acceptance of the value and need for an organized thrust on learning in the early childhood years. In 1946, Maria Montessori met Mahatma Gandhi who asked her to Indianize her method to make preschool education available to a large majority of children. Till India become independent of the British rule in 1947. The need for ECCE, particularly in the form of preschool education, was primarily fulfilled by voluntary agencies and private institutions. The first government initiative in this area was setting up a central social welfare board 
in 1953, which started a granting aid scheme for voluntary agencies to start preschool centers. Why early childhood care and education is important? The first six years of a child's life have been recognized as the most critical ones for a optimal development. Since the process of human development is essentially cumulative in nature, investment in programs for the youngest children in the range of 0 to 6 years has begun to accept as the very foundation for basic education and lifelong learning and development. Over the years, the field of child care inspired by research and frontline experiences has developed into a coherent vision for early childhood care and education. It is now undisputedly acknowledged that the systematic provision of early childhood care and education helps in the development of children in a variety of ways which include improving group socialization, inculcation of healthy habits, stimulation of creative learning process and enhanced scope for overall personality development. Thus, ECC must be promoted as holistic input for fostering psychosocial, nutritional, health and educational development of young children. For children belonging to underprivileged groups and for first generation learners in the society, ECC is essential for countering the physical, intellectual and emotional deprivation of the child from this perspective of the community. ECC is a support for the universalization of elementary education and also indirectly influences enrollment and retention rate of girls in primary schools by providing substitute care facilities for younger siblings. The preschool education component of ECCE has demonstrated a positive impact on retention rates and achievement levels in primary grades. However, it is important to note that attendance in preschools does not automatically guarantee better academic achievement. Quality aspects such as healthy environment, stimulating activities and encouraging caregiving teachers are imperative to ensure all-round development in children. There is sufficient evidence to indicate that early childhood care represents the best opportunity for breaking the intergenerational cycle of multiple disadvantages such as chronic undernutrition, poor health, gender discrimination, low socioeconomic status and promotion of child rights. National Policy on Early Childhood Care and Education Early Childhood care and education found its due place in the policy framework in India way back in 1986 when an exclusive chapter of the National Policy on Education was devoted to it. ECCE was defined in the policy as an integrated and holistic concept of care and education of children between 0 to 6 years from socially disadvantaged groups. This provision was seen as the foundation for life and a support service for girls and working mothers. ECC was further conceptualized as early stimulation for the children under 3 years and a more organized center-based ECC program for 3 to 6 years old. In India, the National Policy on Education 1986, recognizing the crucial importance of Early Childhood Education recommended strengthening ECC programs not only as an essential component of human development but also as a support to universalization of elementary education and a program for women's development. Thus, Integrated Child Development Services that is ICDS, the largest government managed program was introduced and functioning successfully. It is an intersectoral program which seeks to directly reach out to children from vulnerable and remote areas and give them a head start by providing an integrated program of health, nutrition and early childhood education. The package of services in ICDS includes supplementary nutrition, immunization, health checkups, referral services, 
non formal preschool education nutrition and health education for children below 6 years this policy on ecce covers the above services under three stages first stage prenatal to 1 month safe motherhood safe delivery sex ratio breastfeeding that is by cholesterol second stage 1 month to 3 years reduction of infant mortality rate nutritional security child immunization and third stage 3 to 6 years early childhood education conceptual framework for qualitative early childhood education program next determining factors in early childhood education establishment of ecc center identifying local needs and location and safety of the center and nature of the services sources of fundraising and community involvement ensure provision of essential facilities budgeting and mapping of resources ideal teacher to child ratio and managing large groups regularity punctuality and discipline of the ecc center ecc teachers with training and motivation and other support staff designing and maintaining outdoor and indoor space is another requirement design of sufficient space as source of learning and interaction such as small group seating and floor space with room for independent work user friendly equipment and infrastructure to promote inclusive barrier free environment storage for materials equipment and regulated access by children for self help skills display and orientation for children to engage in self directed tasks such as art material or read in a book corner or play with props and dolls optimizing and innovative use of space especially organizing the center in small areas with limited resources outdoor play space and sports for outdoor activity now what are the materials indoor and outdoor equipment designing areas as inclusive spaces for differently abled such as wheelchair users walkers toys reusable improvised and local materials or resources for activity corners selecting play materials musical instruments puppet theater devising methods for child friendly access use and clean up materials whether it is improvised or brought for wide range of activities such as cooking planning and observing mapping agencies for children's materials books toys and outdoor resources adequate storage and innovative ways to store such as in trunks or gunny bags in community based ecc centers maintenance and replenishment of materials now records need for maintaining different kinds of records such as child related teacher related and material related register for attendance admission fees teachers and other financial matters records for monitoring and regulating children's growth and development that is health familiarity with evaluation measures for children's progress survey of quality ecc standards to appraise ecc infrastructure and classroom dynamics disaster management safety ecc center and nature of disaster and emergency is important familiarity with first aid fire drills and display of pictures and material for dealing with emergencies understanding children's fears and anxiety in course of natural or man made disasters engaging with the parents to cope up with and resolve children's problem training ecc personnel at the moment varieties of trainees training models are in operation in india each having its own philosophy methods materials the duration of training and the entry requirements vary from one model to the other 
They include training of Anganwadi workers, preschool teachers, fresh workers, bal sevikas and aids and auxiliary workers. The training methodology consists of classroom teaching using audio and visual aids, group discussions and role play. Field work and preparation of kit are also mandatory during their course of training. The duration of the course is three months. The teacher educators are well qualified in education, home science or social work, preschool teachers. Training of ECC personnel to be preschool teachers is being done by government and voluntary bodies. Some of the training schemes are nursery teachers training, nursery teachers training occasionalization scheme of CBSE, Montessori training of association Montessori International, Bal Sevika training, postgraduate diploma in early childhood education. The training includes theory as well as practical work in areas of child development aspects such as developmental milestones, domains of all round development, individual needs, understanding children with special needs, methods and approaches in classroom. Children as active learners and participants. Balancing between discipline, participation, exploring and mediation, self-directed and guided activity. Thematic approach, playway method, activity method and project method. Multi-grade teaching, peer tutoring and cooperative learning. Equipment, materials and diverse ways of using materials. Now, development of language and communication. Promoting listening, oral expression through multiple methods. Speaking, vocabulary and expressive language competencies. Addressing multiple languages and concept of code switching. Building reading skills with multiple approach, alphabet, word and whole word approach, sentence and phonetic methods. Introduction and development of writing skills. Now let us see development of number counting and number of operations in ECC centers. Early development of vocabulary for size, shape, quantity and measurement of mathematical concepts. Matching, sorting, ordering and classifying objects and numerals. Understanding addition and subtraction. Counting one to one correspondence, enumeration, backward counting, estimation. Games, puzzles, daily life activities as tools to expand mathematical concepts. Teaching of environmental studies, science and social studies. Ways to encourage children to observe phenomena, understand body and relation with the world. Natural and experimental situations to promote curiosity and spirit of inquiry. Food, health, hygiene and cleanliness. Festivals, celebrations and understanding of diversity as classroom resources. Recycling and reuse of resources, avoiding wastage. What is child to child program? This experiment involves strengthening the skills of older children in carrying of their younger siblings. In the majority of disadvantaged homes, as both parents have to go out to work, very often child rearing is left to older siblings. Under this project, the primary school teachers are trained in the use of activity sheets involving concepts of health, hygiene, nutrition and child stimulation through activities, experiments, games, puppet plays, songs to older siblings. The objectives of the ECC teachers training courses for quality in education are to inculcate the following. The emerging ECC professional should be aware of the constitutional provisions and subsequent interventions for the development of young children. The course should also direct the teacher's attention to the child rights perspective and towards integrating modern technological developments in education with the traditional and folk literature. The course should provide a platform to understand the process of growth and progress of children in the domains of development, range and variations in patterns of development. The attempt is to make 
teacher education holistic interactive and reflective teachers should be able to organize and manage the classroom in terms of resources time schedules innovative use of space and be aware of the health nutrition and safety issues of the child and a developed the ability to apply the knowledge in specific situations vcc teachers also needs to know curriculum and classroom processes and organized framework of what the children can learn and how the teacher with multiple approaches make learning meaningful the course involves through the crucial periods of development from birth to 6 months 6 months to 3 years it focuses on various domains of de- development including physical motor cognitive language social and emotional development of creativity and aesthetic appreciation development of values related to personal social and cultural life scientific ways of thinking and inculcation of healthy habits the ecc professional should be able to understand the interrelating aspects of development and develop activities with children that forced foster participatory learning experiences the courses should provide opportunities to prospective teachers to gather skills to interact with the child's community and understand the role of healthy parent teacher contact in child's development the ecc teacher needs to be able to ensure school readiness and hence ascertain healthy transition to school the emerging teacher should be encouraging and supportive facilitator to children who realizes both the learning capacity of children as well as ability to construct knowledge with sensitivity to attributes and needs of learner their special abilities a sensitive and responsive role in the social ecc is important for the ecc personnel childhood is a crucial period for the sound context of education with the national goals for to understand it is widely recognized that early childhood is a critical period for development of young children and that missed opportunities during these early years cannot be made up at later stage of the child's life early childhood is a crucial period for realizing children's optimal potential deep understanding about the features of early years should be considered while framing the course of ecc personnel training young children experience the most rapid period of growth and change during the human human life span in terms of their maturing bodies and nervous systems increasing mobility communication skills and intellectual capacities and rapid shifts in their interests and abilities young children from strong emotional attachment to their parents or other caregivers from whom they seek and require nurturance care guidance and protection in ways that are respectful for their individuality and growing capacities young children establish their own important relationships with the children of the same age as well as with younger and older children through these relationships they learn to negotiate and coordinate shared activities resolve conflicts keep agreements and accept responsibility for others young children actively make sense of the physical social and cultural dimensions of the world they inhabit learning progressively from their activities and their interactions with other children as well as adults young children's earliest years are the foundation for their physical and mental health emotional security cultural and personal identity and developing competencies young children's experiences of growth and development vary according to their individual nature as well as their gender living conditions family organizations care arrangements and education systems young children's experiences of growth and development are powerfully shaped by cultural beliefs and their about their needs and proper treatment and about their active role in family and community I would like to conclude this lesson on quality in early childhood education program. So far, 
we have learned what is quality early childhood education program in the context of child's development perspectives particularly brain development for smooth transition to primary school support to disadvantaged section of people meeting needs of changing family structure in terms of fulfillment of human rights promotion of girls education and social equality foundation for personality development and investment in human resource development which in turn would raise status of the national human development index at the national level and global level